。六祖法宝坛经略序，唐释法海传。大师名慧能，父卢氏，讳行涛，母李氏。诞师于唐贞观十二年，戊戌岁二月八日子时。时毫光腾空，异香满室。黎明有二一僧，造耶？为师资赴约，一来生儿，专为安宁，可上会下能也。赴约，何名慧能？僧曰：慧者，以法为师众生；能者，能做佛事。言必而出，不知所知。A brief introduction to the Sixth Patriarch's Dharma Jewel Platform Sutra by monk Fahai of the Tang Dynasty. The great master was named Hui Nen. His father was of the Lu family and had the personal name Xin Tao. His mother was of the Li family. The master was born on the eighth day of the second month of the year Wu Xu. In the twelfth year of the Zhengguan reign of the Tang Dynasty, 638 A.D. At the time, a beam of light ascended into space, and a special fragrance filled the room. At dawn, two strange monks came to visit. They addressed the father, saying, "Last night, a son was born to you, and we have come to name him. It can be Wei, above and below, none." The father said, "Why shall he be called Wei Nen?" One monk said. Wei means he will bestow the Dharma upon living beings. Nen means he will be able to do the Buddha's work. Having said this, they left. No one knows where they went. <coughs> Gan 结论玄奥，应宗悟其师道，是月十五日，普惠四众，为师剃发。二月八日，集诸明德，受具足戒，悉经智光律师，为受解师。苏州慧净律师为结摩，荆州通印律师为教授。中天齐多罗律师为说解，西国密多三藏。The master did not drink milk. At night, spirits appeared and fed him sweet dew. He grew up, and at the age of twenty-four, he heard a sutra and had an awakening. He went to Huangmei to seek the seal of approval. The fifth patriarch considered him an instrument of the Dharma, and transmitted the robe and the teachings so that he inherited the lineage of patriarchs. The time was the first year of the reign period Long Shuo, 661 A.D. He went south to hid for 16 years, until, on the eighth day of the first month. In the first year of rain period Yi Feng, in the year 676 A.D., he met Dharma Master Yin Zong. 
They discussed the profound and the mysterious, and in Zong became awakened and understood the Master's doctrine. On the fifteenth day of that month, at a meeting of the four assemblies, the Master's head was shaved. On the eighth day of the second month, all those of well-known virtue gathered together to minister the complete precepts. Vinaya Master Zhi Guang of Xijing was the precept transmitter. Vinaya Master Hui Jing of Suzhou was the Karmadana. Vinaya Master Tong Ying of Jingzhou was the teaching master. Vinaya Master Qi Duoluo of Central India recited the precepts. Tripitaka Master Mi Duo of India was the precept certifier, Wei Zhen Jie. Qi Jie Tan, Nai Song Chao, Qiu Na Ba Duo Luo San Zang Chuang Jian. Qi Jie Tan, Nai Song Chao, Qiu Na Ba Duo Luo San Zang Chuang Jian. Li Bei Yue. Hou Dang Yong Rou Shen Pu Sa Yu Zi Shou Jie. Yo. 梁天监元年，至其戒坛，乃宋朝求那跋多罗三藏创建。李悲曰：“后当有肉身菩萨于此受戒。”有梁天监元年。只要三藏自西竹国航海而来，将彼度菩提树一株，执此谈判。意欲指曰：后一百七十年有肉身菩萨。意欲指曰：后一百七十年有肉身菩萨，于此树下开眼上乘，度无量众。真传佛心印之法主也。师至是住法受戒，即与四众开示单传之法旨，亦如习称。Construction of the precept platform had begun in the Song Dynasty by Tripitaka Master Gunabhadra. He erected a stone tablet which said, In the future, a Bodhisattva in the flesh will receive the precepts in this very place. Further, in the first year of Tianjian reign of the Liang dynasty, 502 AD, Tripitaka Master. Jnana Vaishakya came by sea from West India, carrying a sprig of Bodhi tree, which he planted beside the platform. He too made a prophecy, saying, After 170 years, a Bodhisattva in the flesh will proclaim the supreme vehicle beneath this tree. Saving infinite beings, he will be a true transmitter of the Buddhist mind seal, a Dharma host. In keeping with the former predictions, the master arrived to have his hair shaved and receive his precepts. He instructed the four assemblies on the essentials of the exclusive Dharma, tra Dharma transmission.